guys welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a retwist with me and yes and as you can see I'm in much need of a retwist and a wash a refresher so if you're interested in seeing this retwist then keep on watching so first up I'm just showing you what my hair looked like before I washed it it's been about let's say four weeks since my last retwist and I started my locks around Memorial Day so it's been about two to three months and yes look how much you have grown in just these four weeks look at these roots honey just crusty uh-uh but not to worry I'm gonna get it together So to wash, first I'm going to use this matcha green tea and wild apple blossom shampoo from Not Your Mother's. And then we're going to be using the daily hydration shampoo from Shea Moisture. Guys, this smells so good and it actually leaves my hair moisturized without using conditioner. So I'm fresh out the shower with my little clippy clips, with my hair all moisturized and still damp. I did tie an old shirt around it um, while I got dressed and lotioned up. And this is what my hair is looking like right out of the shower. Still puffy, but clean. Um, yes, and I can feel it. it feels so much better. It feels so much cleaner. My scalp is so happy. So we're going to be using the aloe vera juice um, mixture in a spray bottle. So first I put half aloe vera juice. And I got this one from Sprouts. And I'll link everything below. And I also got this from Sprouts. It's the rose water and glycerin. I really love this stuff. It really keeps my hair moisturized. My hair is super dry, y'all. So dry. And I put everything in that old spray bottle. That was some old leave-in conditioner. But nothing's in there. I put everything in that spray bottle. And I'm going to drench it up, spray it all up, and make sure I coat my hair evenly. I make sure that I get all of the roots, all the tips, and make sure that everything is in coated properly. So next up, I'm using this leave-in conditioner from Akay. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. And y'all, this is the plug, okay? I mean, this, this changed the whole game. My hair was so crusty, crispy, and dry until I start incorporating this into my daily moisturizing routine. And if you guys are interested in seeing that, um, Comment down below, make sure you like and subscribe, and let me know if you want to see my daily moisturizing routine. But yes, girl, I love this stuff. And you know they sell a bigger size for 20 bucks, and I'm thinking about re up really soon. And I'm making sure that my hair is evenly coated. I'm using my hands to press all of the leave-in conditioner in to make sure I didn't miss any lock, and making sure that it's all in there. And that is my um, oil mixture that I created. It has about six to seven different oils and essential oils. And if you want that recipe, I can link that down below. You know, I'll just go ahead and put the recipe of what I put in there down below. I got some good stuff in there. And it's pretty thick, girl, because that's that castor oil. She thick. But yes, my hair needs it. Because if I haven't mentioned before, dryness, I would say, is one of my biggest issues with my hair. So here I am putting it all through my scalp, making sure that my scalp is fully coated, and yeah. So 
this is what I used to retwist. All I used to retwist my hair is some Target aloe vera gel, some clips, and some water. Girl, I'm doing the most. <laughs> But here I am spraying the water and putting the aloe vera gel and twisting. I use the palm rolling method. Um, I just started using that with my lash retwist because at first my hair was too short and it wasn't locked at all so I really couldn't use it. But here I'm just using a palm rolling method to achieve my desired look. Here I am again, palm rolling away, using my little clips. And yes, I don't use one clip per twist. I try to stuff as many as I can um, into a clip. So I try to do at least two to three because them things be hurting, y'all. Mm -mm. So here I am just rolling away, palm rolling. <music> guys we made it all the way to the front we're at the home stretch we only got about four or five more to go and yes that's me just adding the aloe vera gel to my roots separating them from the other locks making sure that I try to keep my parts as defined as I can and keep on rolling I get to the front of my head I try to be very careful because that's where you can see most of the parts when I'm in the back or the sides I really just try to make sure I keep my parts separated but they don't have to be perfect making sure that my locks aren't rolled together but when I get to the front I try to take my time and go as slow as I can to make sure that there aren't little flyaways and making sure that it is flat as it can be and trying to be cute. So to finish it off, I grabbed my hairspray from Aussie. This one I also got from Target. I'll link it down below. And this is just some holding spray, what people in the South call spritz. I don't know if they call it in other places, but in the South we call it spritz, honey. But it's just hairspray. So this is five hours later, five to six hours later. I'm just taking off my scarves and seeing what I'm looking like to see how much my hair has dried.
So yes, this is me blow drying my hair. I dry it on low and on medium heat. Um, I'm just drying my roots just to make sure that in the morning it's all dry. Yep, time for the bonnet and getting ready for bed. <laughs> the most. <laughs> This is the next morning looking so fresh. I mean, think about what my hair looked like before and how it looks now. It's so moisturized. My scalp is breathing. And my parts, you can see my scalp now. Yes, look at this. Look at these roots, honey. And all the way done. But yes, I really like the way that it turned out. I'm not a professional, of course, but I like to maintain my hair myself. I don't want my hair too tight, and I'm not a perfectionist. My hair does not need to look perfect, but I do want it to be maintained well. I want my scalp to be clean and breathing and thriving. So yes, guys, this is the final product. Yes, usually what I do is I lay my edges down when I get ready to go to work, but... You know, I just woke up. I ain't laid them edges yet. Okay, guys. So, thank you for watching my retwist with me. And please make sure you like and subscribe. And leave a comment. And hit that bell notification for so you won't miss my next upload. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.